Hello guys, welcome to another video right here at Abjit Amor. Today's video is something that I'm excited about because I literally just stumbled on this whilst working on a client's project. And I can't believe it took me this long to find something so useful in improving the UI of AppSheet. So let me show you. So right here, I have a list of individuals, right? These are individuals in the organization. So you have their names over there. You have their, um, their rules over here. But at the left corner over here, you can see a simple but very useful thumbnail that's been created by concatenating the first letter of their name and the last letter of their, um, the first letter of their surname, right? And then you have this for every name, right? And once I add a new name, this will automatically create this thumbnail for me, which is, I, I love it. And then when you click on each name, right, you have the name of the person and the background, right, with the color. And now this color is different for every name, right? So like every name, depending on the name, has a different color. And I think it just adds to the beauty and the UI of the app, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can do this in app sheets. Before that, let me just demonstrate what happens if I add a new individual, right? So if I come here and I add a new, so I'm just going to put a code here for the ID and the name is going to be Daniel Stones. Right, and job title, let's say facilitator. And then course, I'm going to leave it blank, gender is male. Okay, ethnicity, I'm just going to leave it black. Country, I'm going to leave it blank, city blank, all these are blank, blank, blank. So these are two computer columns that create all you see over there. So when I save this and we search for Daniel, okay, so we have a lot of Daniel, I said what, Daniel Stones, right? Yeah, Daniel Stones. So you see over here, Daniel Stones over here. And everything is already created for you, right? You don't need to do anything in addition. So guys, let's jump into AppSheet and let's see how this can be done in AppSheet. Okay, guys. So now we are in AppSheet and we're going to go ahead and create this UI that we just saw. Good. So... The first thing we need to do is to locate the table we want to create this in. This is the students table. This is where we're going to create these UIs. We'll come to the students and then we're going to create two virtual columns, right? Two virtual columns. I'm going to do this one by one so you appreciate what we're going to use them for. I'm going to click the plus button and the first one is going to be our thumbnail. So I just call it our thumbnail or whatever you want to call it. Students thumbnail, whatever you want to call this. Okay. Now the function we're going to be using here is called text icon. Text icon. It's a very hidden gem in app sheet. It says returns an image showing the specified text in a gray square or circle. Good. So what this means is if I put anything over here, let's say I put the letter B over here, and I click save, click done. Right. And I come here. And then I bring that. So I'm going to click this above or before this. Uh, hold on. It's probably over here. Okay. Let me just drag this to the top. Good. You see, we have B throughout. So you can even use this for some sort of like grading if you want. All right. It's, it's, I just love it. Good. So let's just modify this and let's say that. Okay. Let's take the very first letter in the name. So if you see left. Right, and we say full name, and we say one, we have something like this. Do you get it? So when you save this, you click done and you click save. Good. So we have something like this. Right. So you can see the first name, you see A's, you have um, B's, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. Now, what we want to do is to pick the first letter of the first name and the first letter of the last name, okay? That can be a bit tricky, right? Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little manipulation here with some functions. So left takes the very first letter of the first name. Now right takes the first letter of the last letter of a text, okay? So if I did this, so now say um, this combined with, so this combined concatenation, I did right, Okay, and I say full name, comma one, and I saved, click done, 
you're going to have something like this. So you have E A. You see, so A, right, is the last letter of our number. What we don't, what we want is G, not A. So we have to use a different function that is called mid. Mid allows you to take within within a text, right? So we're going to say mid. Good. Now it says the this the the text we want to so full name. Okay, and then begin at. Now, where do we start from? Because we are taking the entire full name. Where do we start from? Now, we can't tell exactly three or six or seven, right? Because the names vary in terms of length. So, what we want to do, right, is we want to use a delimiter, which is space. We want to use a position of space. So, we're going to say find space, okay, within full name. That will help us know the position. Do you get it? Now, when you find space, this is going to play the position of space. But I want the character just after space. So we're going to add plus one to this. Good. Now we'll give you um, the beginning position. Now, how many characters do you want beginning from that position? I want only one. So something like this. When I click this and I click save, and I click done, I have this. Right, so the mid function is used to take within um, a text. Good. So just like that, we've created our thumbnail, right? And then we can just change the view over here. So click students. And then um, we just come here to deck. Okay, and we have something like this. Simple as that, right? I can just take off the action buttons over here. And I can change this from student ID to, let's say, uh, job title, something like this. Right, and if we just like that have the view we had. I think the, the actual view we were using, this is deck, which is very close to what we had in card. So card like this, okay, it can also work where you have the icon over here. I think when you put it over here, I'm not sure how it looks. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't really look too, too good when you put it over there, right? So you, you are best off when you put it here. And then this one, you can take this off. Something like this. Is that okay? Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a list type. The list type, which is also an example, right? So you can have this this way, and you have all of these listed, which looks very nice. It's okay. Good. Let me change this title to what's the title? Change it to full name. Good. Okay. So now when you click on this, what we want to do is in the detail view, we want to create um, something like a background image that has the person's name, right? In the color, different colors based on the person's name. Okay, so something like what we had over here. So when you click this, you have a different color for Emily, Theodore, Luna, Penelope, right? We want to do something like this. So how can we achieve this? We use the same function, right? Yes, I know, it's crazy, but that's possible. So we're going to come here, we're going to create, we're going to say name, image, and give it any name because I'm just throwing things out there. So text icon, okay, this time we want the full name. So we're not just going to do any kind of concatenation or extracting anything. We want the full name in an image, okay? Now, instead of thumbnail, this time we're going to use image. Then we're going to click save. So we'll have something like this, right? Good. Now we'll come to our detail view and then in main image, we're going to put our name image. Fantastic. Then we have something like this. But by default, it's gray. By default, it's gray, right? And now we need to do some work on this. We need to do some work on that. Good. So what we're going to do is come to format views. We're going to create some formats. Okay, so we'll come here. We'll click this. Create new formats. Good. Now, I just want to demonstrate what we're trying to achieve over here. Okay. So now we want to change the color for our name image. Okay. So we can select any color we want. Um, I can make this this color. Right. I can make it this. I can make it this. Right. I can just set any color over here. And I can set what I want the text to be written as. I can even make this white. And I come here and I say white this way. Right. Good. And I can increase the size of the text, right? You can see this increasing as I click this. But then unfortunately, that's all 
or that's all I can do. I can't underline bold. Those things are not unfortunately available, right? Good. So this is what we have so far. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create classes for these, right? Basically say that if your first letter starts between A to C, we want you to have this color. If your first letter starts between D to E, we want you to have this color, so on and so forth, okay? So the function we're going to use is going to be called in, right? We're going to say left first or full name one. So it's going to extract the very first character and say if that first character can be found in list A, B, C. Let's see. Yeah, that's C. Good. So those are the people that are going to be selected right now. Good. So you will see that if I come here, I set this color to hot pink and I look for someone good. A symbol is highlighted, right? But Joshua isn't. Okay, so only those do I start with either A, B, or C who have this. Let's see if we we'll find anyone like this. Um Is there anyone else? Camilla, right? Good. So C and it's it works. So all you need to do is now name this rule A to C. Okay. And then you can copy the formula and then update it. Okay. So I have done this. I have copied several of this. Um, I also have colors that I, I choose so that it's kind of blends in nicely. Um, I think I use ChatGPT to help me with this selection. Let me see if I can pull that up. So these are my colors. Um, good. So for each of them, from A to C, I have this for the background and this for the text. I can copy this table and make it available in the chats. So that, sorry, in the description, so that you can easily also use this if you like my colors, my color schema. So I'm just going to copy this and this. Right, and I'm just going to come here. So, Control C, Control Shift C. This is going to be the background. The light one is going to be the background. I'm going to paste over here. That's a hex code. And then I'm going to paste this as a text color. So, it's going to look something like this. Is that okay? So, that's for A to C. Oh, I did this in a different one. Let me delete this guy. Let me make this A to C. Right, so full name A to C this way. And I duplicate this guy. I'm going to call this D to F. Okay, I'll come here. And I'll paste my function for D to F. Where are you? D to F. This way. Insect. Okay. And then I'll go to my um, chat GPT and copy the colors for D to F. This way, okay, D to F. This is the background, and this is so I have this. So, if you look for anything that's D to F, I have this right. So, E L Jones has this, Roberts doesn't, right? So, you go through this process. I'm just going to duplicate this guy. D to F, G to I. Now, the reason why we have to name it is because it makes it easy to locate going forward, right? I'll come here, um, G to I, save this, the colors over here. Um, this is the background. And this is where are you? It's a text. Good. So if we look for anyone that falls, I you see that. So guys, that's how you do it. So you just go through and then you just create these groups using this function. Insect. Then you have left full name one. Then then you have the list. Then you just put the list of 
characters that when it falls in, you want these colors to apply to. Good. Now we are almost done. We're almost done. What we want to do is we want to add the ID. So the ID will show at the bottom here. All right. So if we come back here to details, we're going to say header column ID. Good. Now, when we do this in the old version of AppSheet, it doesn't look good. It just interferes with everything we are doing. It makes everything worse. Good. But the good news is the new version of AppSheet resolves this issue. So when you click here, okay, and you come here and you say new mobile framework. Okay. It's going to refresh and then wow, just wow. Everything just flows smoothly. I don't know. I just, I just, I just love this, right? Good. So you have to go through this and do this one by one and then set the colors for all of them, right? Good. I also have a video that shows the new features in the new mobile framework, right? I'm just going to insert the link over here so you can watch this and have a feel of the kind of advantages, the kind of changes that have come in as a result of the new mobile framework. So one of them is this and the other is this um, icon is no longer encircled by this a square with rounded edges so guys if you enjoyed this video i know you did so leave a comment tell me some of the things you know or can do to improve your ui and also i want you to share this video i want you to like this video if you haven't subscribed please do and i also want you to click on that bell icon so that you always get a notification when i release something new so thank you for joining me in this video i hope you enjoyed it like i did and see you in the next one Bye, guys.